Here's the lowdown on the latest in humanoid robots. Remember to subscribe to stay hip as humanoid robotic technology advances rapidly. From humanoid robots taking over as bank and logistics workers to Disney's latest innovations, the following are just some of the latest developments. Leave a comment to suggest humanoid robots to cover in future roundups. Agility Robotics's Digit Humanoid Robot has started its first official job at a Spanx facility. Agility CEO Peggy Johnson told Fortune, there are over a million unfilled warehouse jobs in the U.S. that require the repetitive, mundane motions Digit perform. They can't find people to do that, so what does that do? It taxes the people who are there even more. And they're ending up doing this repetitive work for longer parts of their day. Digit robots handle tasks like moving plastic totes. They're controlled through Agility's ARC cloud automation platform. Not only is working at the Connecticut facility Digit's first official job, it's also the industry's first commercial deployment of humanoid robots under a robots as a service model. Digit is 5 foot 9 and weighs 140 pounds. The humanoid robot is designed to work alongside humans in logistics, performing repetitive tasks. The deployment is the result of an agreement with GXO Logistics, which is also testing a humanoid robot named Apollo as a proof of concept for wider use. GXO Logistics is teaming up with Apptronic to test using the robot to work alongside humans lifting heavy boxes and crates. The Apollo humanoid robot stands 5 foot 8 and weighs 160 pounds. It can lift up to 55 pounds and is intended for tasks like moving boxes, totes, and crates within warehouses. GXO Logistics operates 869 warehouses across 27 countries, employing nearly 100,000 people. The GR1 humanoid robot has begun training at a China Construction Bank branch in Shanghai. According to China Daily, the general-purpose humanoid robot helps with business consulting, providing information to customers, and guiding people on how to use the bank's smart teller machines. The GR1 by Fourier Intelligence has advanced AI capabilities and human-like movements. The project aims to improve customer service and efficiency at the bank. New footage of the GR1 general-purpose humanoid robot appears to show a brain-computer interface for robotic control. The Shanghai-based Fourier Intelligence released new footage of the 5'5 humanoid robot. The video notes improvements to the robot over the last six months, including more flexible hands, voice interaction training, integration with digital twin technology, and extended reality application. Weighing 121 pounds, the GR1 can carry objects up to 110 pounds and features 40 degrees of freedom. The robot can navigate complex environments with advanced motion control and self-adaptive balance capabilities. Its camera-based Pure Vision system uses six RGB cameras for a 360-degree view. The robot is intended for industrial, healthcare, and domestic tasks. Google is using its advanced AI model to train robots to navigate the real world. DeepMind, Alphabet's AI research lab, just released footage of a robot trained on Gemini 1.5 Pro traversing through its busy office. According to The Verge, DeepMind uses the Gemini AI model to train robots using video tours. It helps them learn to move and finish tasks through visual inputs. Gemini 1.5 Pro understands massive amounts of data from long-form videos and documents. Processing up to 10 million tokens, it can handle a lot more data than previous models. The AI splits up tasks into smaller chunks and assigns them to specialized groups that handle specific types of tasks. The method, called mixture of experts, makes the model very efficient. Disney Research Hub has created a new bipedal robot with leg movements designed for artistic expression. Geared toward entertainment applications, the robot uses a reinforcement learning-based control system to perform complex artist-directed motions. The system adapts and learns to execute these motions more efficiently with advanced AI. Its motions are guided by an animation engine that blends several animation sources for fluid and realistic motions. The researchers say the approach delivers more dynamic and realistic performances compared to robots with rigid pro-programmed movements. 
According to Disney Research Hub, the control system is user-friendly, so operators can easily guide the robot in real time during performances. The Disney division focuses on advancing technology and innovation in areas like robotics, artificial intelligence, and immersive technologies. The lab also recently developed a novel way to design soft robots that use air to move and interact with their surroundings. A robot's shape is perfected using a computer model that accurately predicts how it'll move. The soft pneumatic actuator design using differentiable simulation method was tested on artistic and practical robots. Tokyo Robotics has released footage of its Turobo humanoid robot accurately hammering nails. Turobo has arms with seven joints that move like human limbs. It's designed for work in industrial environments alongside humans. Standing 5'4", Turobo can feel how much force it uses and adjusts itself to avoid damage. It stops automatically if it bumps into something. It runs on batteries that can work for up to three hours. This robot hand is controlled in real time using Unity game development software. The footage is from a course taught by Professor Luis Sentis at the University of Texas at Austin on human-centered robotics. The project combines many technologies like servo motors, pulleys, and sensors into one system. The students achieve the difficult feat of realistic robotic thumb movement with the integration. It can make different hand signs and even play rock, paper, scissors. The software processes data in real time to adjust the hand's movements quickly. The sensors create a feedback loop that improves the hand's accuracy when interacting with objects. Unity software is used for creating and managing real-time 3D and 2D interactive content like video games and simulations. The platform's robotics visualization package visualizes sensor data and other robot-related info in real-time for debugging and understanding robot interactions. Unity generates synthetic data for training machine learning models used for tasks like object pose estimation. A novel robotic avatar system lets people control a robot like it's their own body. Team SNU, a cross-discipline group of researchers and engineers from Seoul National University in South Korea, developed a custom humanoid robot called Tokabi that gives real-time feedback through sight, sound, and touch. The robot moves its arms, legs, and head just like a human. It's controlled using a VR headset, special gloves, and pedals to make operations seem realistic. The technology could help people do dangerous jobs and provide assistance from a safe distance. Team SNU is focused on advanced robotic systems with teleoperation and telepresence integration. A giant humanoid robot is headed to work maintaining Japan's railway system. Developed by JR West, the unnamed robot will perform high-risk maintenance tasks like painting and pruning along railway lines. The humanoid is controlled remotely via a VR headset. It can lift heavy objects and reach heights up to 32 feet. JR West, or West Japan Railway Company, is one of six companies created after the privatization of Japan National Railways in 1987. It primarily operates train services in the western region of Japan, including the cities of Osaka and Hiroshima. The Human Plus robot can learn to box by shadowing and mimicking fast, complex human motions. The humanoid robot, developed at the Stanford University Artificial Intelligence Lab, can also play table tennis and fold laundry by copying human actions observed with cameras and sensors. It requires 40 hours of human motion data for training. Just under six feet tall, the Human Plus robot is equipped with two RGB cameras and has 33 degrees of freedom. It's powered by motors that generate up to 360 Newton meters of torque. Its battery life lasts about two hours. In a new research paper, the Human Plus team said they plan to improve the robot's abilities and fix issues with its movement and pose estimation. This humanoid robot, designed to mimic the human musculoskeletal system, is able to autonomously operate a vehicle. The robot named Musashi can sit in a car seat, 
press pedals, and turn the steering wheel accurately just like a real human. The humanoid robot was put to the test as part of the Department of Meccano Informatics at the Graduate School of Information Science and Technology in Japan's study seeking to improve robotics for future transportation applications. While Musashi could perform driving tasks well, the researchers said there are still improvements needed for diverse driving conditions. NEO is testing the first humanoid robot equipped with Huawei's Harmony OS at the Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer's assembly plants. According to reports, the robot named Quavo is being tested at factories of NEO and Jiangsu Hengtong Group. The humanoid robot, developed by Leiju Robotics, debuted at Huawei's HDC 2024 developer conference in June. Quavo is designed for industrial and domestic settings. Harmony OS is an open-source operating system designed to work with a broad range of devices like smartphones, tablets, wearables, smart TVs, and IoT devices. Founded in 2014, NIO is one of China's leading EV manufacturers. The company focuses on high-performance premium electric cars. Engineers at UC San Diego have trained this Unitree H1 general-purpose humanoid robot to dance. The research team says its method, called Expressive Whole Body Control, or XBody, uses human motion data to teach the robot how to move and perform gestures. The researchers say humanoid robots learning expressive movements can help them better collaborate in places like factories, hospitals, and disaster zones. They say teaching robots dancing with data from dance videos makes them more approachable and effective in human-centered tasks. The robot learned its moves by practicing in a computer simulation. It performed well in real-life situations, but there were also challenges like preventing damage from falling. Future plans include making the robot work on its own using a camera system. Unitree Robotics introduced the H1 as the Chinese company's first humanoid robot in December 2022. The robot is noted for its quickness, setting a world record of 7.4 miles per hour. The robot is equipped with 3D LiDAR and an Intel RealSense depth camera for 360-degree perception. For a deep dive on the past, present, and distant future of humanoid robotics, check the link in the description below. Remember to suggest humanoid robots and related technologies in the comments for a follow-up.